that data, yeah. Load that data. Load that data, yeah. Now, loading. 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 Chapter 12, Heart of Darkness. Elizabeth's trail leads to an ominous realm in South America. This unholy land conceals the final component to resurrecting the Archfiend. Ryu Hayabusa penetrates its dark mangroves that teem with the heavenly, uh, the heavily armed forces, sorry, of the black spider ninja clan on a path to the lair of the Archfiend. Ryu joins... Uh, journey. What is wrong with my brain today? Yeah, what's going on? Ryu journeys through a jungle far from civilization, a mysterious place where the secrets of the arch ancients dwell. <laughs> I almost said secrets of the archfiend, and you wouldn't be able to blame me because it's archfiend, 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 archfiend. Yeah. Yeah. Blue. Uh, no ninjas here except us on this boat. Well, if he was truly a ninja, we wouldn't be able to see him. But well, we can see us. Because we're on the same side, dipshit. <laughs> oh, you never did turn up the, uh... You never did turn up the, um... Um, bit rate for the hopage, did you? No. Mm. Hey, guys. I feel like the way this weapon should be is that the heavy attack should use the weighted end more, which it seems to mostly prioritize, and the quick attack should use the scythe end more. Doesn't always work that way, though. That wooden platform there was not there in the original. Huh. Instead, it was a bunch of... They had a bunch of those water mine dudes in the water. Making this shop nearly inaccessible at times. <laughs> Until you cleared out so many water mine dudes that it seemed like it would never fucking end. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna level up the Enma's Fang to maximum. While not the strongest weapon in the game, it's second strongest, oh, it's uh, second to the uh, Eclipse Scythe. However, it is faster than the Eclipse Scythe. Hmm. So it's kind of like, if you want a heavy weapon, but the Eclipse Scythe is a bit too slow for you... Okay, if this were the original version, you would have been hit by that barrage about, uh, I don't know, nine more times before you got to it. Yes! <laughs> well, in the original version, again, this platform wasn't here. <laughs> Instead, I'd have to swim through the swamp constantly while taking out, well, slowly taking out all those stupid water mine fiends. Yeah. And not knowing where I was going. Wow, they actually kind of take a break from their barrage in this one. Oh, that's because these guys were using single oh, they were rocket using launchers. Just single. Do do do. I have no idea why I'm even bothering. This is what happens when you break both lights. 
Nothing! Nothing happens! Nothing changes! Nothing ever changes, Hobo! This is the part where you were getting completely blown to bits in the in the original version. Yeah, because everybody had... Everyone had those multi-rocket launchers. You got three arrows off. You would have been getting hit <laughs> in the original version. Well, in the original version, I would also be trying to charge the arrows to make more efficient use of them. Yeah. Since you have a limit of 30 arrows, and the guy that had the guy that has arrows stuck in him for you to use, you threw him into the water. <laughs> Put me back in the water. Oh my gosh, you're just. This is amazing. After wa after watching you last week in the other version. <laughs> last, yeah. The last two, three ha haven't even hit you. Out of that one. Also, I, my bow kind of locks one to them in this version. Oh my gosh, this area is actually doable! In the original, this... This had a little bit of area for you to walk on. Do these guys respawn infinite or like spawn super like like ridiculous like the original version or Yeah, I'm just I'm just kinda killing them. It's fair. It's fair! Yeah, the original version at times feels more like a beta test rather than a final build at times. It's like, what were they thinking? This is like explosions, just explosions, just all the time explosions, more explosions. No, to, no. Be, to be fair to the original game, and they do still have the multi-missile launchers in this version too, doing this constantly can throw off their aim and let you get close to them. And if you can, like, find a good place to park yourself, you can sometimes, like, sort of finagle your butt. Although you can't move while aiming. You're still not able to really move fast enough to really dodge that barrage of missiles with this, but it's a little bit more fair. Yeah. Also, in the original, after you take out all the dudes... Uh, enemies exclusive to the original come out and hover above the water. These little robot dudes. <laughs> you remember them, right? Yeah, I remember those guys. And you'd have to take them out in order to progress. This is so much more manageable. Oh, I could have used some Nimpo to help me out here. Now I'm curious, like, the exact amount of time it took you to get, like, past this whole part, and compare it to how long it took you to get past this whole part in the original version last week. Uh, I already cut out a lot of that. Yeah. Editing. In the original, that... That gate right there would open up a little bit. You'd have to take out some dudes... One thing you can do with the with the water dudes is you can kind of like park yourself right here and just sort of wait for them to come by and then shoot them with uh, charged arrows and I don't think they can hit you. Huh. Also in the original this was a dead end and this chest here would contain a thing that you'd have to insert into there huh. in order to open up they sure did remove the the uh, puzzle elements. Puzzle yeah. elements, yeah. I have mixed feelings on it. In some levels, I feel like it wasn't really used very well. Is that? Yeah, that's a multi. That's a multi missile. And he's dead. Okay then.
Get off! Get off you! Bum 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 bum. You can also shoot their missiles out of the air with your arrows. Huh. You can do that in the original as well, but remember, you only have a maximum of 30 arrows. Wow, this part especially sucked in the original. Pick up the damn skull. Let's use a healing item, and then... Buy a healing item. <laughs> and then we go back. In the original, this whole water is filled with water mine fiends. So you'd have to make your way back slowly as you destroy them. They really uh, changed it quite a lot. Yeah. This version's much easier. But at times I feel like the original version wasn't hard due to, like, good game design, but more like bullshit. <laughs> I could not believe how much you got blown up in that... <laughs> in that video. to this. I do like that smear effect on their, uh, their mask. now there was nothing you could have done Luke <laughs> fuck off oh that chest in the original had uh, orbs that heal your that restore your nimpo Yeah, yeah, take that! Death by Ninja Stars. It's like the exact opposite of last week. <laughs> healing and saving and saving and healing. So now, I'll use the art of the Flame Phoenix. Nice. Ooh. More Nimpo for me. I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> I was debating on whether to upgrade this weapon, this chapter, or to upgrade the Endless Fang. I chose the Endless Fang because it'll be good for later on in the chapter. But I can I can upgrade the uh, I can upgrade the other weapon next chapter. All right, now we're gonna have a bit of a switch. And I'm going to put this footage up in the corner, and the comparison footage is now going to come down here as the main footage.
Oh. Our past selves will see you. <laughs> Hello, this is uh, a special part of this episode that's going to be edited in because for some reason they decided to remove this upcoming boss from Sigma 2. And I'm not entirely sure as to why. It's not just the boss. This whole, like, tunnel section here doesn't exist. Huh. It just, this just does not exist. That's weird. You just fall through this tunnel and you pop out the other side in broad daylight. Huh. By the way, bosses are always checkpoints. Oh, thank God. But I have to actually get to the boss. So you gotta get to these guys first. Pretty much. But yeah, I... Get off! Hey, asshole! Hey, other asshole! Bug Troy, other asshole. <laughs> like, okay, maybe they removed this because it's a bit confusing, but then in Sigma, in the Sigma 2 version, they added a this is where you go button. Huh. So... Or maybe it's because they thought the enemies in the tunnel before the boss was a bit much, <laughs> but they could just have taken those out. Die! So I don't know why the boss itself was removed entirely. Like... I could understand maybe a few of the things surrounding the boss to a degree, but, you know, those could always be changed or edited or improved upon, uh -huh. but they, no, they just took this whole tunnel sequence out. By the way, what do you think of the, uh, the HUD in this version? Like, the health bar and whatnot. Uh trying to remember what it looks like in, in Sigma. It's a bit simpler. <laughs> you don't have the giant dragon claw coming out. Yeah, I was gonna say, what's up with the dragon? That actually shows you what uh, Nimpo you currently have selected. So, like, there, it's dark. It tells me I have Piercing Void. Uh, that's something they don't do in the Sigma version. There's no indication for which one you get equipped? Yep, there's no indication for which one you have equipped in the Sigma version. Makes you wonder why I changed that. It does make you wonder. And they don't have like the, that texture going on the going on in the bar as well. I guess I'm going the right way. They keep spawning enemies for me to fight. Yeah. That's how that's how these video game things work, right? There's a little side room here. It's a rock. I think it's actually an egg. <laughs> Is there anything else in here for me? No. Just, just extra yellow essence. Which way did I... Maybe they took this out because these tunnels are confusing, but again, they added a go this way button to the Sigma version, so... Oh, one of those had health orbs. Jeez. Is 
So yeah, I'm just kind of like, why was this taken out when they had a thing that would have improved it? Because I agree that this is very confusing right now, and I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to be going. <laughs> but again, Sigma 2 has a ninja sense button, which is like, hey, go this way. Which, that in and of itself would have already fixed this. Yeah. So there was no need to remove it when you've already improved it. How are you still alive? <laughs> you found... Oh wait, there's more! Oh! Oh, I'm going the right way! Okay. When all else fails, find the things that are trying to murder you. Yeah. Oh gosh! No! What no! Stop it! Maybe it was taken out because people complained about this portion. Yeah. And again, I can definitely see why that would be the case, but most of the complaints that I already have about this portion would have been addressed by the changes that Sigma 2 already makes, which are... Wait, what? Which is a go this way button and the fact that in general, there's less enemies. Less enemies with slightly higher health, but still less enemies. Ah, knock it off, you dumb spiky bastard! Well, at least I got all my Nimpo back. Yep. Tell you one thing, I'm getting bored of this green tunnel. <laughs> uh, yeah. Again, a go this way button goes a long way. It's really all they needed to fix this. It was already added in that version. So there was no need to remove this tunnel in its entirety. Yeah. Unless the nature of the tunnel confused the go this way button. Oh, there's the boss. Oh, gosh. Okay, there he is. Well, I made it to the boss. Yeah. Did you catch the number on that worm? <laughs> what the fuck? Am I supposed to just stay on one of the adjacent tunnels and... wait for him? Like, I'm not 100% sure how this boss works. Or what I'm even supposed to do here. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I understand this fight now. 
I actually understand what's going on. He's just going in a loop in these tunnels. Like a train. Does he always come from behind me? Which way are you coming from, you asshole? I'm just gonna let him kill me because typically boss fights, even mini boss fights, are checkpoints. Yeah, at least they've been consistently throughout this game. So I'm assuming that it's gonna be the same here. It damn well better be. No. You have to go through that entire tunnel. Yes. Every other boss and mini boss is a checkpoint. And this is why they just wait. That could have been, that could have been easily fixed. Though. Yeah. Oh. Well, that did damage. Oh, I hit him. Which way are you coming from, Mr. Worm? Yeah, more damage. Ah! Ah, he was coming from behind me that time. Uh, which way did he go, George? Where is he? I guess I have to keep heading this way. There he is. Hey look, I got some of my stuff refilled. Nice. I don't exactly understand how this boss works. Ugh. Okay, so he came... So he'll probably be coming from this way next, because he went this way. No, he came from behind me again. What's the damn rhyme or reason of this boss? I don't know. reason is that the tunnels are connected. 
So throw explosives. Merry Christmas, motherfucker. <laughs> Um, oh, that was a waste. What's the... What's the focus camera button? Oh, that... That's the button. Okay, they... I'm all turned around from the... If I start trying to charge that, if I start trying to use that attack, he fucking goes away. What the fuck? So am I supposed to go into one of these side tunnels and then attack him as he passes? Well, I'm trying to figure out what, like, what their intended method of fighting this thing is. Because this whole thing kind of seems a bit stupid. Yeah. I think this is why they took it out of the game. They couldn't figure out how to improve it. They're like, well, this boss is stupid, and I don't want to make it better, just remove it. You weren't even in... <sighs> yeah, I don't know what hit me, honestly. But, th that was the boss. I saw him pass. That attack is a straightforward piercing shot that does a shit ton of damage. I thought it would be useful against this boss, but... I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here. Can you look this up? It's Tunnel Worm Boss. Ugh. Don't die. Because I'm like... What the fuck? No. What? I don't want to just delete the damn text, you idiot. Uh, let's see. Ninja. Gaiden. Two. Two. Uh, 36, Xbox 360. You know, tunnel worm boss. Or two with, two with Roman numerals. So I can't hurt him while he's passing? I don't understand how this boss works. Oh, I, I hit him. How do I beat the tunnel worm boss? I found a YouTube video. I think I'm figuring this fight out. 
I'm just kind of staying here and waiting for him and then hitting him. Or he can hit me. Yeah, it's too bad to get further. Well, it's hard to judge the fucking distance. No, I think I have to go out there to sort of lure him. Do I have to hit him directly in the face? I got it. That didn't work. The video I originally saw, this is the weapon I saw them use. And basically, they... This guy's killing them with a bow. He's taking pot shots at him as he goes past the tunnel. That's what I'm trying to do, but I can't hurt him. Also, I have limited ammo with my bow, so... Uh, didn't, didn't do any damage to him. Didn't do any damage to him. I think it's just hard to time. This guy's killing him with just a bow. I think it's just timing. It's too hard. I think there's more to it than just that. I mean, you can watch the video. He's doing the exact same thing you are, you are except he's hitting. I think you have to hit him in the face. And that's the problem. Yeah, I'm hitting him in the body. As he went past. No wonder they took this boss out. Well, some of the other bosses they've changed. Some of the bosses that are still in this version, they change so that you can hit them in other areas and they'll take damage. Oh. So, like, they could have changed this guy to make it so that you could hit him in the body as he passes and he would take damage. There you go. Yeah, I hit him in the face. You have to hit him in the face. That's the, that's the issue. That's the issue, is that I'm not quite nailing his face as he goes past. Thank God, this is the only part from the original version I have to be present for, right? Right. Thank God. Where the fuck? There's a save statue literally right after this boss. Thank God. At least they were merciful in that respect. Yeah, in, in Sigma 2... What? What? Can you just do this fucking shit at home, Mike? This is fucking ridiculous! The fuck? You're wasting our entire recording day on this shit! And I'm just like, really? Really, bitch? I'm just ignoring these guys now. Okay. Wait, 
Where is this asshole? Do I have to, like, do this to kind of lure him out? Apparently! Jackass! How did that not hit me? Boom! that way. Damn it. What the fuck? It hit his body. He's moving so fast. Why the fuck do they want players to hit the head? To make it hard. That's what you asked for, right? Is he even coming? Nope. Yeah, it's like, you have to stick. Look at that shit! You're not even there! I guess he circles around. Keyboard. Oh, damn it. Oh, is it one or F one? There you go. I can't cancel this, by the way. Once I start charging that, I cannot cancel without just releasing an arrow. That did some damage. Oh, what oh. the? What just happened? He stopped moving, and then you were slashing him, and then he picked you up and killed you. Oh, why did I say... Mm. Okay, I'm done. Thank you! Uh, what's your obsession? What's your with obsession with time, anyways? Oh, uh, well, gee, it's not like we what need to record other fucking things today. Uh, All right, well, I'm gonna try again with that worm boss on my own time. Uh, why didn't you practice this yet? Um, uh. because then all the all the crystal skulls would go away. Once you pick them up once in one in a file, they're they're just picked up for the whole game. Oh, yeah, it is. Hello, Future Sai here. So I decided to fight this boss once again um, on my own time, and I ended up managing to beat him first try. And I'm not even entirely sure how exactly. I pretty much just got lucky. Um, basically. I did what I've seen some other people do. I charged up an ultimate technique here and uh, waited for him. He still hit me. But then I kind of got. But then I kind of like managed to get a hit on him. And uh, one of one of the things I ended up trying to do in this fight was I switched over to the Art of the Flame Phoenix because I thought like, well, if I have you know these firebirds just surrounding me like this as I'm waiting for him to come charging through the tunnel maybe one of the firebirds will like hit him as he's coming through and like stop him in his tracks or something at least that was my thinking and uh you know I was able to sort of recreate a little bit of what I did at the end of the thing and then 
I just kind of got him stuck in this loop where I could just keep hitting him over and over again. I'm not even sure how this happened. I just got really lucky. So yeah, Mark, about that worm boss. Oh gosh, that stupid worm boss! <laughs> <laughs> so, here's here's how I ended up beating him. Um, of course, everybody watching this will know. So, like, I ended up doing this and used the uh, shockwave. And I also used the art of the flame phoenix because I thought the phoenix bird circling around might hit him as he's charging at me. Uh-huh and might be able to stop him. Uh, I got hit, like, two times, and then at one point, right, he, he hits me and kind of gets me in the corner, and he, he's in the corner, and he's moving away. Like, he hits me, gets, like, he's parked over here in a corner, and I'm, like, off to the side where he can't hit me, and then I just start doing this and stopping him from burrowing into the ground. Huh. And I just get him in a loop where I just keep doing this over and over again until he's dead. <laughs> I feel like the Endless Fang weapon would work pretty well against that boss, but don't have a chance to test it. Now, what I would have done with the boss is I would have made him like the uh, Gigapede. Okay, in Devil May Cry 3, the boss of Mission Four is the Gigapede, it's the flying boss that you wanted the uh, double jump for. Uh -huh. And then in mission 8, you see the Gigapede again um, in two different tunnels in the, in the Leviathan's stomach. Right. And, it, and it, in those times, it chases after you slowly. I would have made the Tunnel Worm boss like that, where it chases after Ryu somewhat slowly and... Oh god. Get off! I have had enough of you! But yeah, that's that's what I would have done with the... Get off of me! Ugh, I hate these attacks! This is why I wanted the Endless Fang for this mission. Because these guys become really prevalent at this point. And I think these are like perfect enemies to use this thing on. They're strong enough that they that the increased damage is appreciated, but it's also fast enough to kind of have them in a stun lock and to be a little closer to what I prefer playing. Whereas the Eclipse Scythe is stronger but slower. Mm -hmm. By the way, it's about this clearing where you would normally find the Vigoran Flail in the original game. I also wanted to use the Endless Fang 
a little bit more in this game because uh, it's exclusive to this game and only this game. More so exclusive to this version of the game if you want to get super technical. But, yeah, the Endless Fang isn't... It's not in the original version of 2, and it's not in 3. It is, however... It is, however, in the uh, Sigma 2 Plus for PSP. For P not PSP, PS Vita. Sorry, the, the Vita was so insignificant, I forgot its name. <laughs> it happens. Those are about the only water enemies that are left. In the original, the bow wouldn't have been able to shoot them in the water. You'd have to use the uh, Gatling spear gun. Hmm. Art of the Flame Phonics. I'm going to be hooked on Flaming Phonixes. Flaming Phonix! Flaming Phonixes. Get it right. <laughs> Phonixes isn't even a real word. Knock, knock, I'm in your shop. Hey, more my son. Where's your demon blade? On the Vita. Oh, no wonder. That's a pretty useful art. Yeah, it's kind of like the fire wheels from the previous game, except they go out a bit more. The only thing is, though, it doesn't stack as well with my, like, melee damage. And they sometimes go away pretty fast. <laughs> that guy's like... I have come out, you're cut into. Crunch. so much essence to spend because I don't have I can't use it on weapon upgrades yeah I will say I kind of almost wish I could spend essence on weapon upgrades rather than the blue lantern shops because uh yeah and the original this is where you would find your test of valor I'd recommend at least clearing out the area and then saving up the dragon statue after clearing out the area so that you can go in fully prepared.
was fun. <laughs> do, 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 do. I, uh, apologies if the comparison footage and whatnot that I recorded at home is, like, all stuttery. I was gonna re-record it again, but then I realized that I don't usually do that, and also the... The, um... Written the rankings you see at the end of each chapter, like my ranking in the original is that's ranking that comes from that comparison footage recording. So, having different comparison footage would mean that I'd need a different ranking, but that would also technically be from a different playthrough than what than the half of it that Mark saw. <laughs> so, it would feel almost disingenuous a little bit. Because even though I had it split up in different recordings, I was at least starting back from that save point before the boss, for the worm boss. This part of the mission Mark has not seen in the original, but it's not really that much different. Hmm. A little bit more enemies here and there, I think, in the original. A uh, few minor differences, but not really a whole lot. Dead black spider ninjas. Just floating down the river. If we dive in here, we'll find this dead guy and a crystal skull. Hey. Get off of me! Hey, 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 none of that! Crunch! I'm crunching ties in the You've been crouched. How much crunch can a munch crunch crunch if a munch crunch could crunch munch? I have no idea. No idea. Ooh, a big open space. I wonder if something's gonna happen. Hey, you guys! In the original, you would be fighting the boss right away as soon as you entered into the space. But here they call these guys. I guess they're trying to make up for the fact that the worm boss isn't here. But yeah, I would I would have had the worm boss just like slowly follow you through the tunnel while trying to like back you into a corner filled with spikes as he like spits as he like spits acid at you, but if you get too close and don't watch him, he could like suddenly lash at you. That's how I would have handled the worm boss. And not even bothered with like the little side areas or the enemies that come at you. You know? Just like, I would just have where you land in the tunnel, and then there'd be like a cutscene, and the, it'd be just the giant worm slowly coming at you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, not slowly, but... So, in the original version, that thing she was riding on, two of them would have been your boss. Instead, this time, we get a dragon. Also, the two things that she was riding on, they go down, like, one art of the piercing void pretty much almost kills them. I'm curious about something. I'm gonna get out my dragon sword. Uh, why do I always go that direction? Mm. 
No, oh, that still bounces off. Well, you look like a Monster Hunter monster. Oh, nice. Hey, let's see if we can get that tail off. Ow. And there goes your tail. Goodbye, tail. Ooh, carve it up. Yeah, <laughs> what's wrong there? And now, because I'm fighting a dragon, I must use the dragon sword. I only wanted to use the Emma's Fang for the first half of this fight. that would have been here originally, um, you can still fight them individually as just individual monsters in the next chapter. Huh. Which is when you will see them. And you will see how weak and pathetic they are. And they, I, I'm being serious. Like, one art of the piercing void in the original game, and it's like, their health bar goes down to that much. And they're as strong as they were as bosses? Uh, Yeah. Wow. I died to him once because I was not very good at aiming the thing, aiming that thing, and uh, I had a talisman of resurrection that I forgot to equip. Hmm. Oh, this is only 30 minutes. Holy shit, my comparison footage video is like an hour. Yeah, what the... Well... Some of that is the worm boss, which will be, like, pasted in, will be kind of sliced and put into here. And some of that's the the original boss with its cutscene, which will play right now. Okay. Uh, let's talk about that. And future Psy back again. Um, so I actually died to this boss once um, in footage that's been cut out because I forgot to equip my Talisman of Resurrection, which I tend to forget that that's a thing that you have to do in this game. But these guys really aren't that hard. And, um, yeah, the the dragon that replaces them in the Sigma version is a much more difficult boss fight. Yeah, it's already freaking dead. Yeah. Not a hard boss at all. You can also fight them, you can also fight one of them in the next chapter, which is what, which is when Mark's gonna see them.